Hi everyone, welcome back to the tutorial. Today I'll show you how to harness the power of Zetaforge's AI pipeline application. Specifically, we'll look at a scenario where you might want an existing view, parameter, or processing block to work a bit differently from how it was originally designed. This is where OpenAI's GPT agent uh, comes in. Um, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. For today's example, we'll combine two processing blocks into a single pipeline, but instead of using two separate view blocks for the outputs, we'll aim for just one final output. This is a perfect opportunity to use Zetaforge's block editor. So before we start, there are a few things that you need to set up prior to uh, engaging in this process. Uh, the first thing you would need to do is to ensure that Zetaforge is running in a Python virtual environment. Um, the second thing that you need to do is to make sure that all the dependencies are installed in the virtual environment by using the simple command such as pip install dot or npm run dev for the front end component. Uh, so this would include uh, important tools like OpenAI's Langchain framework, uh, which is necessary for uh, the usage of uh, the block editor. And now finally, you would also need an OpenAI API key. So make sure to add your OpenAI API key in the app. Uh, I'll show you how this is done. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to settings and in the API key section, um, there would be a field for you to add your API key. Um, so yeah, let's uh, dive right into uh, the usage of a block editor. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna try and do is we're gonna drag one of our processing blocks. Okay, so it's gonna be the depth anything block. And now we are also going to use utilize our image classifier block. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, make a couple connections that's needed. Uh, so for this, we're gonna need a, a, per, a parameter block for the path for the image. So we're gonna drag, make these connections. Okay, after that, uh, what we're going to need would be a couple of view image images blocks. So we will need one for the image and we would need one for the text. So we're just going to, you know, do some separation of concerns. So we're gonna show what the um, prior solution would be and we'll show you uh, simultaneously uh, what the, the more redefined solution uh, turns out to be. Okay, so now that we have all these connections, uh, we would also like to add an additional view images block. Um, so as you can see, if we run this pipeline, we should get uh, a final image uh, here, and we should also get uh, a final text uh, description here. Um, so we do want to make sure that um, we are also able to use just one block to show the final output. But as you can currently see here, the view images block only takes in one input. So we need to modify this uh, current block. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the code icon and after we do that we're just going to open the computations.py file and uh, as you can see uh, automatically a prompt box appears so this is where we write our prompt to make sure um, that our block is edited as uh, we we initially intended okay so i've gone ahead and added the prompt so as you can see uh it's uh, simple it just says please modify this block to take another mp for text and append it to the image that was imputed so we're going to go ahead and run this uh, after we uh, added the prompt okay could take a little while uh, but we can also take a look here to see up oh, so we can see that the code there already changed and wow voila you can see that our view images block has also been modified so now we get a different view uh, so again it's very possible that you know you're not able to get this on the first try uh, so if the instructions you know the prompt that you give it don't work on the first try you could always you know delete the um, the version that you're currently at and you can rewrite the prompt um, so it's, uh, it's very typical, uh, just adjust your prompt for more clarity and try again. Uh, think of it like refining questions with AI to get the best solution. It's all about iterations and that's it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, make uh, the necessary connections and try and see the final output. Okay. So actually 
this we need a direct connection from the images oh actually no that made a little mistake there so yeah we need this directly and we also need the predictions directly from the source uh, so now we're going to go ahead and run this oh yeah so i just made a mistake uh, i i did not upload any file so for this i'm just going to upload uh, this image now we can run it successfully okay perfect so as you can see um our results are out and we could just view every image individually so this is uh, the outputted image for uh, the depth anything uh, processing block and for the image classifier we have um, an output as well which says okay, this is a pedestal plinth a footstool stall and we were able to combine the output so instead of having individual um outputs we're able to have one final output that has both the image and the uh, the text uh, classification so as you can see you know we're able to harness uh, the power of zetaforge uh, using uh, openai's uh, gpt uh, agent and that's it uh, with just a few steps uh, we've been able to use the block editor to customize our pipeline uh, i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one